Hey, 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 this is the boat doctor at the house. Nice new paint job, doesn't that look pretty? Pretty as me, hmm? Memorizing blue eyes, hmm, hmm? Ha, <laughs> that's a little joke. Anyway, uh, 2023, uh, the 2225 is the best. I mean, uh, all around small boats, the little 1450, 1550, awesome little boats. Uh, the 27, I like it, they're a good boat, but they're, if they would widen that out another half foot on that 2750, they'd have a dynamite boat and they're being made now some of them in the u.s so maybe that's what they'll do i hope i have mentioned that uh, uh cleats he's okay on this they put some up front for anchoring out some here i would probably put one more there just because it's easy when you're tying off if you tie a rope from there to there you got one long rope that way i can just tie it to that one so i'm inside the boat i can just pop pop, pop it off and take off but I'll show you that, what I'm talking about when I'm down at the water. It's got about a 100 gallon fuel tank in here, 18, 19 degree V, so it gives you a good ride. These are virtually unsinkable. You got uh, like your life ring that goes up front. You got your chamber, you got your chamber. I'll show you those in the back. You got strakes, you got the G3 tubing, you got the pre-flexed hole. And plus up here, what this does here, this aero design, it helps keep in these reverses like this that kick down. That helps that water go out like this away from the boat instead of having one that comes up and just comes out. That would shoot the water straight back and come inside your boat. So there's a lot of thought in these. Uh, rub rail, got the plow anchor. That's a good anchor. And I am going to do the happy dance because he went Garmin. He's my man. Happy dance. Not only for me, the techs love them. I like them. They're intuitive. They're fast. They're quick. Things just hook up. But the main thing for the customer, they'll do more than that customer ever wants them to do. I just took a guy out the other day. He was all decked out with Garmin in it. He's a wow. He says this thing does more than I'd ever want, and it's easy to figure out. I mean, I shouldn't say easy, but a lot easier than most. But they are a lot quicker. They've got great depth finders. So I like Garmin. And you will too. Trust me. This little bar here is if you do a release, but actually this ain't set. That actually I think should have been down here. That should have been up. So they could have, I mean, because that's for like a quick release when you're running up here, bam, it locks it up. Spare tire carrier, heavy duty, easy loader trader. Now this is beefy, tongue jack. I like those, top mount coupler. So from the ground to the top of the ball, typically it's 23 inches on a top mount like this. Flat flip I like, your, uh, your brake fluid there was good. Heavy chain, safety chain for your trailer. Anyway, you got these pre-flexes. The more flexes you got, the stronger they are. And if you see that reverse, how it cups down, like it goes down like this, all the way back, that's what gets us the stability on a turn. You, this sucker will turn sharp. Between that and this aero design just helps it backing up. Like when you're putting it in the water, it helps it glide where you can pull it back or loading it, helps you pull it ahead with less restriction. You don't get the water rolling over the back. But uh, dynamite, dynamite boats. Uh, keel roller, of course, that's not meant to ride on that. You got four, four by fours with slicks, so this thing will glide right off. I'll show you at the dock what you can do when we're out here for a demo. Gear bath oil hub, brown good, white bad, nitrous filled, that's the green caps. You can put regular air in it. That's just for cold, cold weather. These look like they got 14s on them. ST225, oh, look at that, 75R15, so more than adequate discs on all four. I know I'm telling you about the trailer, but that's tough. I'm gonna tell about it anyway. Okay, trim tabs, that's for your transducers. Now this is okay, you just don't, I want to have a big one that the transducer goes over here. You want to mount them low over here. Just a heads up. Got hydraulic steering rams on both. Oh, way to go, buddy. You did it right. Walk through transom door. You can pop that up. Your trim. Fresh water wash. Make sure motors are not running when you use that. Unless you have earmuffs on there. Then you can use that. You can tee off with the tee off your main hose. One there, one there for maximum water flow. Say you were having water flow at the water, but you got home. You... You put the flushers on there, you start the motor, no water come out. These are gonna take even in the water about maybe 15, 20 seconds to start spitting water out. Kickers, little nine nines will just spit it out easy, real fast. Okay, so where was I going with this? Oh, so you put earmuffs on here, 
turn the water on then start the motor but if you use that one alone do not start the motor to trim it up that's made for if you were out a dog mooring it and so on okay so you got these right here that are kind of hard to get to now those should be for your deck okay then you got one for your life ring right right here and you got one for each tube right here and then you got your other one right here that's for your deck discharge for your bilge pumps there's your transducer and here's what you want to make sure you want to get these not out to here you want them down low you get them out way out to here just so I, you know if these weren't here you're going to lose your depth and uh your depth reading and your bottom if you even go 20 miles an hour you want to get this low you don't want it right on top of the motor but you want to make sure this edge right here is just below the bottom this part's going to be deeper and you can actually you don't want them real tight but you can actually run these uh, hair down you get uh picks up faster uh load guides gear bath oil hub's good there's your uh got to get some diesel in here that's your exhaust vent must have a sink that's your discharge fleet two-speed jack nav light vhf you look like you got the 80 um 5225 or 5224 or 522 uh it reads the whole eight feet that's what you want don't buy a cheap antenna you could have a 800 radio you buy a cheap 50 dollars antenna you got a 50 dollars radio so anyway the length's 25 feet like on the trailer it's 31 feet nine nine eight to ten foot tall on the height on that you're recommended 400 uh, two by 150s is what they recommend but the 200s got uh, their rpm kicks in at 2200 you're probably going to get better bas gas mileage than you would with the 150s plus you got that low end grunt at quarter half three quarter when you hit it it goes uh like i say the rpms kick at 2200 to where the other one's about 46 or 4800 and i already told you about the fuel tank size uh let me see a dead rise i already told you 19. oh dry tow weight of 77 100 and then uh dry hole weight just the hole is 3600 roughly just so you know i took my little cheat book because i wasn't sure that's why i always say approximately this you can pop up if you don't want it there you got to use this for a step cup holders i love it they put a lot of cup holders in here your diesel fills here i'm gonna go get diesel and you can step up here i gotta calibrate that and he did put so if you don't have a radar running through there see how he put a boat plug up there so he'd have water coming in if he didn't put that in it's an open hole to run your wiring through okay so boom boom uh primer bulb right there right there live well you got a bait tank in here this is washed down uh two batteries you can put in two more probably if you wanted to your uh, live well bait box uh, measuring for your big big fish now you got to remember on this this has got a plug right there right <laughs> So you always have to have that in because if you pull that water is going to come in that goes straight down to the bottom of the boat again this has got chambers plus it's got the main bottom hole so and this is reinforced here so you can step on it so it's virtually unsinkable even if you did forget that one and this thing filled up with water you're just going to have water but you're stuck with that water in there unless you carry a portable bilge uh, pump of the hose an alligator clip where you can hook your battery and just chart discharge it over okay but here's another thing you can do so up here well you want to make sure this plug here is in because if you forgot that one back there it is not going to go in here it's just going to maintain up there or back there got an ice attack cooler you got your uh, captain seats this is for your pump for your sink that works i'll show you the heater after i get some diesel in it you fill your water from inside and i guess there's two ways to look at it it'd be nice if it was outside but the inside 
I guess so what if you do get water in here, but that way nobody could put gas in your water thing. So it's kind of a safety drawer. I got a footrest for this seat right here, which makes it nice. This pulls out. So then you could actually sit right back here, make it into a bed, footrest here. So they're classing these things up more and more and more. Speakers there, table here. I like this push button a lot better. If it works, there you go. Oh man, look at that dark walnut. Cup holders, they thought about that. Oh, they got rid of the S, huh? That locks in. Stove top here, that's your controls. Sink here. A little cubby hole, grab handle. Right here, small sliders. Those are, uh, what you call and You can tighten that up. There's a knob on the side. See how loose that is? There should be a knob over here to tighten that up. Thigh rides. Yeah, right here. That slider, swivel. Trim tabs. Garmin 6CL gauge. God dang, that's got to be a piece of 16. Yeah, 16 inch VHF. Hope that's a 215. So it has AIS winch. That works. Uh, cable, dual controls. So it shouldn't be too bad. You got waste pump. That's that for your toilet. Build pump. 